How do you folks, how's it diddling? In this video, another one on purple slurple. This one, we're gonna get the rear arms out since we've already done the rear axle, get the rear trailing arms out, give them a bit of a clean and a spruce and hopefully uh, paint them up and at uh, some point chuck them back in. So, more cleaning, more grinding. Also, a review of a battery powered grinder. So, should be good. Come and join me. How much rust? All of it. So the job for today, uh, let's get in here, is to remove these. And then bolts look, oh, mint. So I'm going to take these off. Now, originally I was going to replace these, but uh, you know what? Uh, it's coming up to Christmas and... Uh, you know, a new set for like 50, 60 quid. I might as well just clean these up. Uh, the bushes, you know what, they're not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. But yeah, we'll get these off. Give them a bit of a wire wheel and that and do give them the same treatment. Also, going to be... Uh, I bought this the other day. So this is a Day Plus grinder. So uh, it's battery powered. Now it doesn't come with, get off, now it doesn't come with this. I bought it separately, but it comes with all sorts of bits. Now this isn't a sponsor or anything. Bought this off my own, uh, off my own back. Because uh, like I say, I haven't got any power in this container. And uh, well, it seems a bit uh, kind of uh, counterintuitive to uh, clean all these parts at home, put them on when the boot floor needs cleaning. So. That's yeah, good. but so, uh, first off, let's get cracking, removing those bouncy boys. All right, so here's a 17 mil spanner on there, and I've got me 17 mil. Oh, that's uh, righty tighty. So just kind of give it a, a bit of a jiggle. Oh, I've just noticed there's a. Bolt missing out of there. Right. Now I've noticed this spanner isn't moving, which is never a good sign. Now, I have recently been to Suzuki Beechwood in Derby. I phoned them up the other day. There's me hammer. So I phoned them up the other day in regards to uh, I'm after after some bolts. More to the point, these bolts that go uh, that hold the rear axle on. And uh, I think I've mentioned this before. I probably have. If I have, apologies, folks. Old age is getting to me, and I forget a lot of things. But yeah. Uh, ordered them bolts and then when I went back and the fact that they got them um, I asked them if they could get me some other bolts so I've got bolts and washers and nuts for this side coming also I've got the bolt that goes through here that holds the shock on if you remember this one was missing as was the shock now this bolt has got to come from Germany um, but all the other bolts I'm getting uh, the other bolts include this boy here a new one and the one that kind of where this arm goes down and bolts uh, getting a new one of those and various other bits and pieces because at the end of the day um yeah okay like this is a bit grotty and doesn't look great but with a wire wheel it will uh, it will look fan dabby dozy and it just seems a bit of a shame to chuck these khaki looking bolts in in order to, uh, you know, let it let it down, kind of thing. So yeah, so has cost me nearly a hundred quid in bolts, which is always wow. Has it actually no? Well, that's not good. 
Right, next approach, put a socket on there and see if we can break it free. Oh, this is going to be a pain. I can feel it in me waters. In me waters? What am I, a woman? No. Right, watch me get a hernia. Oh, ah, I think I know what the problem is and why this bolt's not coming out. So there's a metal sleeve inside here. And by the feel of it, the bolt has fused itself to the metal. And uh, that creak, oh. and that creaking sound you can hear is the bush tearing itself apart. So it looks like, oh, uh, yeah, it looks like I'll end up either having to replace this bush or replacing these arms anyway. Oh, uh, well, it couldn't have all gone swimmingly because, you know, where's the fun in that? Let's go to the way. Let's see if we can break it off this way. Now, before you say anything, folks, I did spray these and lube these up the other day, um, but clearly uh, that has had little to bugger all effect. It's all right, folks, I'm just contemplating life choices at the moment. Like, why, oh, why did I decide this was a good idea? Yeah. Booger. That's just kind of pooped on my parade. Oh, and there was me thinking it was going to come undone so easily. <laughs> well, was an I wrong? Well, okay, we might as well go to the other side and have a go at that one. All right, here's the other side. Let's give this a, a go. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, and uh, let me think of some more words, beginning with bugger. Double spanner this one. In order to crack the nut off. <sighs> Undo your bugger. Right, this is going to take me a while, folks, so uh, come back to me in uh, a momentario. With hopefully I get at least the nut off without having an aneurysm. Yes, we got it off. Where's my hammer? Oh, that wash is stuck on there. So naturally that gives me all the encouragement in the world to know that... Uh, This arm is not going to go anywhere. Well, it comes as no surprise that uh, that bolt is also very, very stuck. And like I say, what's happened is, is that uh, inside the bush there's a metal sleeve. And the bolt has kind of rusted itself to the sleeve. So when you turn it, it's trying to turn the whole bush. And, oh, misery. Now... This would be the perfect point or the perfect tool to have an in what's known as an induction coil heater. It's like basically you've got these wires and you can wrap it around stuff like bolts and everything and you plug it in and, and it heats it up and that's great. But yeah, I haven't got one of those. What a surprise. Looks like I'll need one. Uh, learning a lot on working on the Suzuki. Like why am I working on the Suzuki? Oh well, just try the other side and hammer the crap out of it. Let's give it some rooty toot. Luckily there's no seal here to impede on the bashing. So, uh, yeah. Let's hope this goes good. I think all that's doing is, yeah, it's bending that mount. What an absolute pig. Uh, I guess my only option now, really, is to get the battery cutter and zip, and hopefully, if I can get in, to cut the bolt out. Yep, angle grinder time. Is the angle grinder. The uh, simply slip on the battery and... Uh, 
Oh, got full power. Right, so it did come with some. Oh, that's a thick disc. <laughs> Could be interpreted as something else. Did come with these ultra sketchy 5000 cutting discs. Do I trust them? No. Am I going to use them? Of course I am. There we go. Let's give it a whirl. Ooh. Right. Let's cut them buggers of bolts out. All right, here goes. I'll uh, turn the sound down for this. <laughs> uh, you know, I said it had full charge. It it, it doesn't. Uh, well, this day is just getting better and better. Let's have a look with the old torch and see how far I've got with cutting it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I I see. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's certainly doing something. Oh, tits! Right, it's the next day. It's a lovely day. So the uh, angle grinder is fully charged up now. So plenty of time to charge up. So uh, we'll see how long the battery actually lasts now. Oh, instead of the 10 minutes that it did last time. So, let's get you set up for the action shot. Actually, let's, uh, let's put your boot there. Well, so far, I'm not impressed with this uh, battery life. Right. <laughs> That's rather warm. But uh, oh, it's cut it through. But um, yeah, not brilliant. Oh well, time to uh, get to to the side and cut the head of the bolt off. Hopefully, I can get that off. Right, now that I'm very uncomfortable underneath the car. Oh, I love how that uh, flexes, that plate there. Mmm. So, yeah, so the next step is to try and undo, cut that off. Here goes. Well, we're slowly getting there, folks. Slowly being the operative word. Oh, that's the, uh, the head cut off. Just got to try and remove that bit now. Right, after a lot of faffing and a lot of cutting, <clears throat> not much cutting, it's out. So you can see that bolt is seized in there and yeah, not great. But at least one side's out. Now, like I say, a bit of product review as well. If you're thinking of buying a battery powered grinder, see this, don't buy it. Absolutely crap. So the battery lasts, it was on uh, full charge last night. Fully charged and everything like that. Battery lasted not even 15 minutes. Um, and it just kept dying and then kicking the power. So. Yeah, if you're in the market for a battery grinder, crap, absolute crap. Wouldn't buy one. Um, yeah, I'm kind of stuck with this now. Let's see if I can send it back, but it, it's just, it's not worth the money, really, folks. Um, yeah, leave a bit of a review as well, because at the end of the day, be, you know, being perfectly honest with you, if you're in the same situation, you think, oh, I need a battery powered grinder or something like that. Don't go for that. Yeah. Well, lesson learnt. But like I say, the arm is out and uh, it doesn't look pretty under there where uh, where this bit was. It's all chewed up and I need to do a bit of hammering and fettling. Um, but the main point, this is out. And yeah, 
So I have ordered some new ones as well. I ordered them last night on eBay. So they should be turning up. Uh, if I remember rightly, Tuesday, today is Saturday, so they should be turning up soon. Uh, so I'll uh, end up having to ch put this on charge again, useless piece of crap, and attempt to do the other side at uh, some other point. I was hopefully going to at least, uh, I expected to at least cut them two bolts out and the other side and still have a bit of power in it to be ordered to uh, do some wire wheeling underneath, but that's not going to happen. So, yeah, joys. joys. As you can tell, folks, I'm not uh, not particularly in a good mood. You know, it's. Uh, but then again, it's that old adage. You know, you buy cheap, you buy twice, and uh, I certainly, you know, I thought with products nowadays being at least decent or half decent that this might have, you know, the the guts to be able to. Uh, you know, last more than 15 minutes. And I wasn't asking a hell of a lot for it to cut through, you know, two sides of a bolt, but um, no, too much for it. So I'm gonna have to invest in something else. Yay. Let me show you the mess it's left. All right, there we go. Now, unfortunately it has, uh, it's not too bad, um, but uh, it's a bit, uh, a bit mangled that hole, but nothing that, uh, a hammer and some pliers and a bit of manipulation won't sort out. But uh, now that it's out, it means that, uh, well, I was hoping to use the grinder in order to clean inside here and and all round here and everything and uh, and all the chassis legs as well, because they're all, all crusty. And just give it all a bit of a wire wheel, you know, all up up in here, so hoping to just wire wheel today and all this and then be able to throw some anti uh, anti rust paint which are, again I've got on order which should be turning up at some point and then uh, yeah and then I was hoping to be able to paint all this you know before Christmas but uh, it's not looking like it especially with that piece of toss this thing yeah so I've uh, gone from doing that and because I can't do the other one over there because breaks. So I've already undone this one. It required a pair of mole grips just to crack this nut, but luckily it's nice and free. I've took the clip out and so that's ready for now. I've put the hose back on because obviously it clamps it and I don't want to get brake fluid everywhere, even though I've got this sheet down. Mm, nice. So, but at least that's kind of loose. So that uh, when it comes to it, I can uh, take this off, give this all a clean up and also put a, uh, a blanking plug on this or something just to, you know, keep it all tidy and everything. Clean this up, give it a paint and a spruce and make it all nice and purple like this underneath. Because, uh, yes, folks. Once this is all cleaned underneath, including the floor area here, I will be spraying this with, or painting it with an anti-rust uh, prohibitive, prohibitive, blah, 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 them. Uh, and then after that, it will get etch primed and then a coat or two of this lovely blue, purple paint, which I'll get mixed up from Sparta Motor Factors in Burton on Trent. Uh, and then chuck some lacquer over the top of it. Now this you're probably thinking, what's the point? Um, you know, why don't you just paint it black? No. Well, I want to kind of keep it nice. Uh, why do I do this? But anyway, that's done. Let's go to the other side and see if that one comes undone as just as easy as this one. I'm going to guess no. Other things I'm going to need, some pinches, a pair of mole grips, uh, for some reason, I've got 11 mil spanner, but it's 10 mil for the the nuts, and also a screwdriver because you usually have a, like a locking plate that's forked that fits in. We, uh, I'll quickly show you. All right, that's a bit better. You can uh, see what I can kind of see. So what I need to do? See this bracket here? Well, that line looks nice and crusty. So I need to. Pop that off like 
so now I'm not going to take it fully out because uh, it means that this uh, is still locked into place and hopefully now let's have a laugh and see if a spanner will get on a get onto there uh, but b more importantly will it undo No, that's uh ah, yeah. <sighs> All right. Mole grip time. Well, after about ten, fifteen minutes of huffing and puffing and rounding it off, that's not gonna come off. That is on there. And uh, I've also had to notice the pipe's quite corroded and where this goes to is a load sensing valve which is <clears throat> that thing and uh, see this pipe here this one here the one that's really nice and crusty so that's the pipe that goes to that brake hose that i'm trying to do and I'm looking at these brake pipes and they look rather grotty. And also the valve, I'm not sure if it's working. So it looks like at this stage, folks, I'm gonna have to drop the fuel tank. And I know it's got fuel in it, which is great. It's got four clips, four bolts holding it in. There's one. One just there, one over there, and other side. So it's four bolts, but they're Japanese bolts. So they're going to be very rusty and probably round off and snap. And then there's this thing. Now the fuel pipe doesn't look too bad. Looks all right. And the vent tube looks, to be fair, feeling at the top of the tank, there is a lot of detractors. So it looks like I'm going to have to take the tank out in order to be able to, I could probably chop this hose and make a new one up, but um, in order to fit it nicely, I might as well take the fuel tank off and then if I'm taking the fuel tank off, I might as well clean it and because there's a bit of, a bit of crust on this edge, but it feels rather solid. So... I might as well do that and then I can get to the rest of the floor. Now, I'm not sure. Yeah, them, them bolts, uh, I think, uh, might have to spray them up and leave them for a day or so and then come back to it for that. But in the meantime, I can try and get that valve thing out. But again, that looks incredibly rusty and probably ran off. But it's worth a try. Right. Place your bets, folks. Will this come undone? Oh. Oh. So it's come undone from the block, but as suspected, with the grottiness, it is stuck and swelled in there. Hmm. So it looks like I'll be replacing that line. So where does the others go? I think that's the two lines going from the front. And this is the other line that goes to uh, this one, to this, this thing. Yep, we're upside down, folks. So let me uh, just quickly have a ganders and uh, find out but i'm pretty sure they're the front ones they look a bit crusty but not too bad i might end up having to take this off anyway because no my luck this thing is probably uh not working and of course we got rusty bolts as well <laughs> yay shock horror folks surprising turn of events Turns and not stuck on the brake hose. Turns, not jammed up on the brake hose. And 
and uh, if I can get this spanner in there, turns and not stuck on the brake hose. So this one that uh, needs replacing anyway. Um, as you can see, Cross City, that one needs replacing. So three out of four isn't bad, is it? So the one that needs replacing anyway, I've got to. No biggie there. Might end up replacing this one, I'm not sure, because it does look a bit uh, a bit crusty. Well, I'm going to be uh, unpleasantly shocked. So these bolts, after a bit of uh, back and two, back and two, how's your father, squeaky, squeaky, they've actually come undone, and I thought they were going to snap. So I've come up with a theory, folks. Let me tell you about it. This is my theory. Every time I thought a bolt wouldn't come undone, it has. And then every time I thought, oh, this bolt will come undone, it hasn't. So I'm going to employ the technique of assuming every bolt is going to snap or not come undone. Because, uh, yeah. Didn't think they would come undone. They have. I thought uh, the uh, when I took the axle off the four bolts, they wouldn't come undone. They did. But then when I thought, that, oh, the trailing arm bolts, they'll come out. They fought me. And also I didn't realise that uh, this brake hose on the driver's side. thought that wouldn't come undone. It did. And I thought, oh, well, if that one's come undone, then the passenger side one will come undone and guess what it didn't so from now on i'm going to assume that every single bolt on this vehicle is not going to come undone and snap so hopefully secretly it will come undone hmm. let's put that into practice and see how it works eh probably ain't gonna work right folks i'm gonna call it quits for today because uh the sun is setting. It's getting rather dark in this container. Lots of bolts and uh, just general, you can tell by the tone of my voice, I'm very tired, very defeated. Um, and there's the parts list is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But it's all in the name of fun <laughs> and keeping quite a rare car on the road people don't care about. So if you like this kind of video, Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, entirely up to you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, until the next time, folks, from me and Purple Slurple, see you in the next video. And always remember, have a good one and daidi bar.